Very warm welcome to the National Stadium at Bukit Jalil. It is the Pestabola Merdeka, Malaysia versus India. This was meant to be the second of two semi finals leading to finals next week. However, events elsewhere in the world mean the Palestine withdrew from this competition. So, this one semi final will decide who gets to meet Tajikistan, who got a bye into the final in Tuesday's overall final of the Merdeka Cup. Great to get the Merdeka Cup. Back on the football calendar, it has been much, much missed. There is the road to the final, as we were just saying. Malaysia versus India tonight in front of a, a raucous crowd. Taj Tajikistan, a bye into the final. The teams preparing for the Asian Cup finals, though, will lament the chance that they won't have two competitive matches to play. Pitch conditions, 28 degrees. It's a nice temperature to play football on a perfect surface in fact there's an awful lot of attention being paid to this surface and it is a, a brand new uh, surface paid for by the Tanko Makoto of Johor at a cost of uh, nearly five million ringgit and it'll be the first Zion Zoiza grass pitch and uh, an awful lot of publicity and expectation surrounding this politicians and uh, bigwigs alike have been having a look at the pitch but the India team weren't allowed to train on it yesterday. The most important people of all, of course, are the players. So India will come into this match without having had a chance to play on the pitch. Good nature crowd. The, the ultras have been in fine form for a good 30 minutes or so before kickoff. There's a feel-good factor around Malaysian football just at the moment. Of course, the Asian Cup is what this is all aiming towards. Malaysia in a group involving Jordan and Bahrain and South Korea. India themselves, they've got an Asian Cup hopes. They are in a terrifically difficult group. They've got Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria as their group. So this is all part of the build-up for Igor Stimac's team. And of course, both nations have got uh, Asia World Cup qualifiers to play they head off to Qatar next year so plenty of football so that is the context of this match in its own right it will be the 15th time that these uh, nations have met in the Merdeka Cup Malaysia have won six four draws four wins for India overall the record is the nations have met 24 times 10 games won for Malaysia, seven draws, seven one for India. Big build up 
for the match. Celebrating the new pitch and I think celebrating uh, Malaysia's recently found confidence. They are unbeaten at Bukit Jalil at home throughout the 2023 calendar year. In fact, better than that, they have won all six matches. Kim Pangong, his record since he became coach at Malaysia. 15 wins, four draws and four defeats. One of those a penalty shootout defeat. Fresh off the back of a very encouraging uh, two-match tour of China in which they got deserved two all draws against Syria and China. Kim Pangon and his uh, coaching staff, Ella Verassen on the left, really putting a, a feel-good factor in for Malaysian football. team will be bedecked in black today. And, uh, two changes from the team that uh, played last time in China, against China. We're going to see a rare appearance for Noah Lane, a highly thought-of central midfielder. Sunil Treachery will be leading India, ageless Sunil, 39 years of age now. He made his international debut back in 2005 since when he has gone and played 135 more international matches sorry 142 international matches for India so the fireworks beforehand Malaysia bringing good form onto the field of play India the South Cup champions so a lot to play for. This is the Madeka Tournament 2023. This is Malaysia hosting India in the semi-finals. Malaysia in all black, led out by Matthew Davis, the Johor fullback. Brings up the tail, and uh, I can tell you it's a fascinating selection. Like Kim Pangong, Arif Ayman, a number 10 role, trying him out. He's trying to make sure that Akyar, Arif, and Faisal Halim are all able to get on the pitch at the same time. He's trying to work a formation to make that possible, and we'll see how effective it is against India. India themselves, very, very useful defensively. We'll talk more about them and their lineup after the respective national anthem.
the Ultras themselves celebrating uh, an anniversary of some sort. 16 years since they were founded after the debacle of Malaysia's hosting of the 2007 Asian Cup. My, how the mood is very, very different going into the 2024, as it will be, version. Both teams high on confidence. It's an all-tie team in the middle with a Vietnamese fourth official. Give you a bit more detail on them. Darren Locke will lead the line in the heart of midfield behind of them. Will be Noah Lane and uh, Hendrik Dos Santos. Last time these teams met in a Medeca tournament, it was back in 2001, which was the last time Malaysia actually beat India. That was by two goals to one. The sports minister being introduced to the teams. Yeah, a big, big occasion of uh, the match today. Samuel Chetri having his team through. Bengaluru providing four of the starting team. Mumbai City, three. The ASL is ongoing at the moment, so these players are very much in um, seasonal form and fitness. Ripitin Sandu is the giant goalkeeper who spent some time in Europe and the match officials, as I say, from Thailand. Konchai uh, Pitri will be the man in charge. Matt Davis proudly introduces Zihan and uh, Aaron Locke. Matthew Rashid and Pools and Noah Lane. Arif really looking forward to see what he does. Him and Faisal, Matthew Rashid, three. Terrifically skillful, whole bred players. This is the starting 11 for Malaysia and Kim Pangong going in a 4 2 3 1. A couple of changes in the team that drew against China. Brendan Gan replaced by Noah Lane. Arif Ayman comes into the starting lineup to replace uh, Paolo Jazue. That's how we anticipated being 4 2 3 1. Darren Locke leading the line, plenty of work from him. But look at that creativity from behind. Penang, Alistair, and uh, Pontan. Hang on. The uh, coach has come in and he's making Malaysia believe again. He's trusting. And it's, a, it's a very familiar team that he's putting out here. Mon Kochai, 42 year old from Thailand. His last 15 matches, three red cards, 53 yellow cards. His assistants are Rawa Tanakarit and Tanate Chuchin. The official is one and a half. It's an opportunity for those guys as well to get ready for the Asian Cup. As for India, Lupit Sinsaru is the goalkeeper. They'll play a 4 2 3 1. Rohit Kumar, the number 19, will be the holding man in midfield. Sunil Chetri will lead the line. Jan Suala. Uh, Mahesh will provide the width. Sahal, I think, will be more advanced than that. I think Sahal likes to operate in a kind of number 10 or more creative. And Sorish and Rohit doing uh, an awful lot of the, the donkey work in midfield. A physically big team. Igor Stimac, who's been head coach since 2019 when he took over from uh, Stephen Constantine. He's the man in charge, 56 year old Croat who played in the World Cup for Croatia. 42% win record, and of course, has just guided his team to the SAF Cup, even though it was a penalty shootout win. Record tournament back on our screens. This time it was held was in 2013, then it was an under 23 event when Malaysia under 23s beat Myanmar. won this it was back in 1993 when they beat the South Korean team 3-1 in the final. Interesting career. Sao Paulo 11, Santa Catarina 11, Ghana, Algerian 11, Buenos Aires 11, Minas Gerais. There's an interesting history to it, it's back on the football agenda. Right, all just about set. If it's all square, after 90 minutes, we will go straight to a penalty shootout. 
Players are ready, pitch is ready. India in the blue, get us underway, going right to left. Early pressure coming from, inevitably, Darren Locke, and that's hoisted long. He's got a prodigious uh, right boot on him, Gurpreet Sandhu. Good crowd, Napaka Jalil. The pitch looks lovely. A little bit dry. There's the Malaysia team. Four at the back. And Locke will lead the line. And Saba. And a striker. He got on the, the score sheet in that very, very good uh, two drawn matches on the tour of China. Samuel Chetri leading the line, the Bengaluru striker alongside Veli Anzuala and uh, Mahesh. This is outside to Akash Mishra. Mishra's making good headway. Got past Hendrik. Might break the edge of the box off the top of the bar. And Sihan under pressure. Has a word with Sunil Chetri, but Sihan has got to be far more dominant than that. He's got to come flying through the ruck. But there's an early chance ahead to the penalty area. And you've got players waiting. It goes past Sunil and fizzed off the top of the bar by Rohit. Absolutely nothing wrong with what Sunil Chetri is doing there. And that's Mahesh. So an early let off for Malaysia, and it came from the left back. Akesh Mishra. Akash, the Mumbai fullback, showing a uh, real willing to get forward now. And Malaysia have got to sort themselves out. Paris Sandesh Jingan. This is Akash once again. Mitab Singh, one of the Mumbai City players, as is his fullback Akash. Challenging from Sandesh Jingan. Coming on, gets in there. Put his eye from Akia. Having these creative players in is good, but they should have got to get the ball into them. Arif Ayman gets onto his right and pitch is cutting up there. Arif. Sandes Jingan for company. Eventually plays out to the bear, Corbin Ong. Is Noah Lane comes all the way back to Dion Cools. Here is Davis. Looks down the line, tries to get Faisal Halim into play. Faisal goes to ground. He just got the wrong side there of Akash, but I, I do believe he was looking for something. And referee Monkonchai, absolutely uninterested. It's a lovely ball around the corner. Crossing. You never know in 2022 what 2023 what will be given. Nothing in that from Mishra. Oh, Feistfield opening. Davis. Faisal. Once again. Quickly into the game, it's just behind Akia. He saw the, the run was on from Akia Rashid, the number 19. Yep, 24 years of age now. 42 caps, this is 43rd, scored 10 goals. Beauty, the uh, two-all draw against Syria. Of 
Obinong is physically strong. Nali Antwala. Arif under pressure. Faisal bundled out of it. That's really nicely played by Sura Singh. And that's naughty from Arif. He left a boot in there and Sandesh Jingen has reacted. Arif definitely left a, a right boot in there, maybe from a stern challenge earlier on, but that is, well, it's a hip check in ice hockey. For those of you who follow the sport, not allowed in football. Davis long throw into Arif to Johor colleagues. Arif cuts onto his right foot. Arif Ayman straight into the midriff of Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. Well, that's what they want from those three. All three can run at their players. First corner of the game. Taken by Hendrik Dos Santos. 28-year-old Johor player, signed from Penang. And it's ball in. It might break the Dickles! There's the start, Malaysia are after. Second international goal for Dion Kools. He likes to lurk at the far post on set plays. That's well done by Corbinong to get there. A hint of offside. As that comes through from Hendrick's corner. Dion Kools does really well. Then nicely played over for Kools to finish in emphatic style. Noah Lane had a high involvement in that as well. The Cool, seven minutes in, Malaysia in the lead. Well, they had a scare. And Rohit Kumar hit the crossbar. The response is very, very good. And uh, Darren Locke. Back doing defensive work, Darren Locke style, Kim Pangon excoriating his players down on the touchline. Wants 100% plus 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 effort. Kim Pangon wants more from his team, wants the belief to grow, wants other teams to be scared of uh, Malaysia. That's the four pronged attacking line up there. Interesting that it's Darren Locke who's the deepest of them. Davis, that will be a Malaysia ball. <laughs> the consistent player, Matt Davis, is the fourth cap today. Sihan has to be careful. And Sunil closed him down. There's a lovely pass out wide to Corbin Ong. Johor teammates, Corbin Ong. to get Faisal in play as early as he can. Arif Ayman, again, teasing. That's a lovely ball, you know, to the edge of the box. Good defending from Suresh Singh. Again, there's a late tackle going in as Malaysia are keen to really make their presence felt in this game, and they are doing exactly that. The prize of a place against Tajikistan in the final is really worth it. 
one game has its value, but if you can play two internationals in quick succession, the coach can learn so much more about you, and Igor Stimak as well will be thinking exactly the same. Wilfried's little 9-9 over to Akash, is a shot. Arif, relishing the responsibility of that more central role. Dominic Tan, fires it in to Akia. System play by Suresh, but illegal play by Suresh Singwanjam. 23 year old uh, ball winner from the Bengaluru club. Every getting regular starts. Fascinating to see exactly who will be in the starting 11 when the Asian Cup gets going. Paolo Jazue missing out from the starting line of the against China. Is that uh, comfortable for Gurpreet? Very dominant goalkeeper. Puts that one too far down to the other goalkeeper, Sihan. Samuel is just winding up. Sihan here. Davis. Arif. Seeing a lot of the ball. Tries to play in Faisal. Burpid scrambles. Into the boxes. Arif Iron once again. Hendrik looks for Lebert Corbinong. That's good defending. Needed to be by Nikhil Pujari. And Nickel can drive forward. Boudry sets up Mahesh. Sorry, Lalian Salrala. Breaks to the edge of the box. What a goal! What a instant response. And it's Mahesh Singnaram, whose volley from the edge of the box was too hot for Sihan to handle. Pulsating start to this game, and that's a, a thrilling volley from Mahesh for his third international goal. Look at the, the blue shirts who are up in support. Malaysia don't get the first cross in, it breaks to Mahesh. Sihan gets a glove to it. Perhaps he can do better. Nice little flick back from Sahal Abdul Samad. Four-year-old from East Bengal with his third goal and Sihan suitably chastised. I do wonder about that uh, Sunil Chetri stuff from Sihan. Just losing a little bit of focus because that is straight at him. And we've seen him make those uh, saves many, many times in his career. He's a top goalkeeper. Now that presses on and Sunil Chetri goes out. Valenciana, that's more comfortable. Samuel Chetri gets in the way once again. Very much established as uh, the Malaysia number one is Siham. This is his uh, 15th international. Faisal, Davis, Aaron Locke, Arif ahead of him. Flag stays down, Arif again can cut back. He's got two great feet, the cross is well blocked by Akash Mishrash. Mishra. Really good game.
Basel. Davis. Hendrick. Spreads it out wide for Corbin Ong. Gets in there ahead of Pujari. Aaron Lock will make life difficult. Pujari is caught by Robert Corbin Ong. Well played by Suresh. Pujari up on his feet. Suresh looking inside for Rohit Kumar. Sunil Chetri. It's out wide to Leyan Zwala. Mumbai winger. We've got the first cross in for the equaliser. Tracked there by No Lane, the SJK striker, right then. With a bobble of the pitch, Zakia tries to play in Faisal Halim. It's exhilarating having all three on the pitch at the same time. Faisal. Zakia tries the little back flick. Suresh is in there. Suresh, nice and neat and tidy. Nitab Singh gives the ball away and Davis drives into space. Two in the penalty area. Goes to the back post. Basil Halim is surprisingly good in the air. He does time his jumps very well. Under pressure there, though, from Nikhil Pujari. Davis first onto the ball, driving through. And the boost of that early Dion cools. Goal very quickly eclipsed. Oh, Gerprit's under pressure. Lane onto Faisal. Davis. Looks for Darren Lock. Ooh, that, that's a penalty. Darren Lock definitely pushed in the back as he waited for that cross to come in. It's a silly challenge, but it is a penalty. Darren Lock holding his ground, thumped from behind. And it's the defender, Nikhil Pujari. A Hyderabad defender. He's experienced enough not to know, to know not to make that challenge. That is just silly. You saw he had a little look up at the referee as, as if he knew. That's, that's fair enough, that's just bad defending. Murphy trying to delay things. Stimak is a, a central defender, or a very good defender in his time. He's not complaining about the decision itself because it, it's a clear penalty. Arif Ayman steps up, takes responsibility. Five international goals already to his name. Arif Ayman puts it into the corner. That is a top penalty from Arif. Inside 20 minutes, Malaysia re-established control. It's a penalty full of confidence. And this is a player who has got a stunning career ahead of him. He already has achieved an awful lot this year with his club. The stage in Doha. Could this kid be ready to explode? That's a really confident penalty.
Johan Gon will hope his team can uh, defend a little bit better. Already seen one shot against the bar, one equaliser. They lead 2 on. Jon Kuhls volleying home from a corner, Arif Ayman's penalty, and the Darren Lock was clearly fouled by Nikhil Pujari. Sunil Chetri just eases Kuhls off the ball. He's clever, Sunil. Stimak not impressed. He knows exactly what he is doing, Sunil Chetri. Broke for Mahesh. And Rick, oh, that's a, a poor pass. And Mahesh drives forward. Might break Mahesh second chance. Davis is there, and Endrick is able to clear. And Faisal can twist and turn his way. There's 2v2 here. Darren Locke in the middle, and Faisal's got to pull from Arif Ayman. Faisal goes on his own, though. And then concedes the foul. But that was a, a real opportunity. Arif made a brilliant run for Faisal Alim. And the Salango winger didn't release. Really a foul, and again, really good defending from Soresh covering back. But that was a, a three on two break at one stage for Malaysia that they haven't benefited from. Frustrated with the referee, Mon Kong Chai. Not sure why. If they're complaining about the penalty, it clearly was a penalty. Any league in the world. Mike is up for offside from the initial ball. Sino Chetri, he likes to complain now, and Akia Rashid has a chance to run. Akia, little back flick, and Darren Locke just wide. Great combination. Intelligent running from Darren Locke. So he just sees the space. Well seen by Akia. Akia, Arif and Faisal have all made their mark so far in this game. Darren Locke will, of course, Run his tail off for Malaysia. And lead by two goals to one as Nikhil Pujari gets the free kick. Suresh, that's behind uh, Sahal. Sahal Samad is 26 year old. This is 33rd international cap. as well Arif Suresh has uh, done well on a couple of occasions now Davis closes down very much on the front foot Malaysia good to see Hendrick is there covering, can see both fullbacks well advanced. Nolane has a, a job to do. Just to be the sitting uh, central midfielder. Hendrick slightly more advanced. Mahesh Singh Sunil. Oh, Mahesh wasn't there, so Sunil's pass was to himself. Nakash. This is Rohit Kumar, Bangalore midfielder. Abdul Samad loses out. Faisal. Faisal 
played for that and get back from Metab. Metab Singh. Second look, looks like he's taking a necessary evasive action there. Humdinger of a game, 25 minutes in, Malaysia 2, India 1. Darren Locke causes problems for Metab. Leon Cools. Malaysia clad in all black. Nice on that time, gets in front of his man and does get the foul. Sunil Chetri again complaining to Mongkonchai. India feeling that they're getting the wrong end of the stick here. Not with them on that. That was a foul. The penalty was clearly a penalty. Sunil's shove was clearly a shove. Samad uh, stands on the ball and uh, I think you do have a, a height advantage here but Corbinong up on the far side is very often the, the main target Hendrik will deliver this left footer Was the target, and that's come off an Indian head, and that will be a second corner of the game for Malaysia. Kirashid, a terrific trio in front. Malaysia don't have an awful lot of height, so the option really is to compete. Corbin Ong and Dion Cools with muscular support from Darren Locke, perhaps. Lane trying to go to club. You can see though that repeat head and shoulders over. That's a nice dummy from Corbin Ong. Davis. We've gone from a diagonal a few times. No lane controls. Thank you. Hendrick. Corbin Ong. And Tariff to have the ball. Gets the ball. And it, it bobbles, but it breaks to the bear Corbin Ong. And he loses out to the impressive uh, Suresh Singh Gunjan. And Dos Santos. The ball looks for. Not run. And Arif Ayman through on goal. Arif. Oh, it was a pass or a cross. But an open goal has gone a begging. Unselfish from Arif Ayman, but too far ahead of Faisal Halim. Well, he'd done all the hard work, Faisal followed, it's just laid across the goal. And too much on it. Well, well done on the press, well done on the unselfishness, well done on the team play. But it's a huge miss, and hopefully Malaysia, for Malaysia's sake, don't regret that. Dominic Tam, meantime, finds Sihan. Looks to maybe have recovered his composure now, although it's given the ball away. Hendrik, spreads out wide to Corbin Ong once again, that's been a familiar pass. Malaysia, he's on the full width of the pitch, and then Corbin Ong loses out to Radian Zuala. Throwing though will go to Malaysia. Arif. Akia. Go inside or outside. Akia pulls it back. Akash makes the header clearance. Give those three the ball, they will cause problems. No doubts about that. 
scored two, should have had a third. Conchai continues his seemingly non-stop arguments with the Indian players, this time telling Sahil Abdul Samad just to settle down. Sahil loses out to Endrick. Faisal. Arif. Off the ball behind. Nakia wins it back. Halim looking to cause Akash Misha a problem. Davis is there supporting. That's brilliant from Sahel. Senil Chetri. Tackles flying in. That time from Hendrik Dos Santos. And the crowd are responding, and India are getting aggravated. Malaysia have the lead. Nikhil Pujari. Mitab. India maybe just trying to put the foot on the ball. There's a high press that time again from Matt Davis. That's good cover from Endrick. And the fullback went forward, the two centre backs, uh, two central midfielders. They've got that job to fill in. Here's Rohit Kumar. Sandesh. to Mahesh, Cash carries on his run, Davis, very aggressive defending and a goal kick for Malaysia. This is last defeat here of Pukka Jalil was against Bahrain, that was in June 2022, an Asian Cup qualification match, and they played very well. A late penalty, to be from then, since then, here at Jalil, they've seen up Bangladesh, um, Cambodia, Maldives, the FF Championship, 5-0 against Laos. 4-1 against Singapore, and Thailand 1-0. Please over Turkmenistan and Hong Kong, Solomon Islands, 10 versus Papua New Guinea. That was in Trungano. Those four matches were all played away from Bukit Jalil. We have the two draws against Syria and China. And they should build up a head of speed, it's a head of steam. So too, as we said, to our India. Drag back, Arif trying to get on with things quickly, too quickly. Kopudri goes down the line and is caught. This time, the man having a go at uh, the referee is Suresing Wanjam. There. We have seen yellow cards given for challenges like that. It was careless, not an awful lot more. Sandesh Jingan. Experienced going central midfielder, uh, central defender. Etab. Pudri under pressure. That's the key for Malaysia. There's pressure on India every time they're on the ball. Akia has done brilliantly. Akia. 
Couldn't complete the job, but he's won a corner. And that press really is working. Plus, they've got the dribbling skill and pace, all three of them. Faisal Arifanakia. And Yanzuala, the man dispossessed, but also, to his credit, the man coming back and getting in the tackle to prevent anything worse for India. Arif to take what will be Malaysia's fourth corner. They scored from their first. Gerti Dion Kools, Sanil Chetri at the near post. Akia. And a big safe pause of Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. Davis covering. Corbin on helping. This is block tackle, concedes a throw in. Suresh with good strength. The Anzuala. Suresh carries on his run. That will be a corner to India. Their first of the game and Look at the work ethic there of Arif Ayman Hanapi. <laughs> Sahal Abdul Samad, Mohun Bagan midfielder. Plays it through, but Hendrik does well. Mahesh, Sahol, it's the edge of the box, poor cross comes in and that's comfortably dropped upon by Sihan. Darren Locke. Sorry, Arif, again, <laughs> he's at both ends of the pitch. And the throw in. <laughs> Faisal tries to play in Arif. Sonil Chetri, moving on, over on the wrong side, but illustrating the pressing nature. Pujari. Leon Zual has done well. And Hendrik is covering now as a left back. He's done that covering job very, very well, but not a great ball in. It's picked up by Rohit Kumar. Rohit, neat and tidy. Intriguing game of football now. India ranked 102 in the world. Malaysia 134. Malaysia deliberately selecting teams higher than them in the rankings just to see what their incremental improvement is. Here's Sahel. Little step over from Sahel. Nothing on. Davis can clear. Nil. He's kind of as a number nine. Wins possession off Akia, who was looking for the foul. Best spell for India. Antoala, cleared by Dominic Tan. Ah. 
Sunil. Maybe 39, but he's still the main man for India. Alianzuala. Five minutes till half time. Meetup Singh. And that's given away, and Darren Locke is in there. Run back only just by Mahesh, who scored the equaliser. And then offside against Sahal Abdul Samad. Um, tight. Oh, Faisal Halim played in by Arif Ayman. Faisal! More terrific pressing from Malaysia. And the reward is there for Faisal. Goal number 13 of the international career of Solangos, Faisal Halim. And again, it's a pressing. We know about the dribbling skills of that front three. But here they press. Arif does well, releases it to Faisal. And Faisal, he had options left and right. This time he unerringly goes into the bottom corner. And this front three with Darren Locke have terrified India. Sue indeed. Faisal Halim and India wondering what has hit them. The noise inside Bukit Jalil is terrific. Suresh. And the pressing continues. And Arif is the man who's leading the way, but all four of that front four have done it wonderfully. The two full-backs are pressed on as well. And Arif picks out Hendrik Dos Santos, who's done a lot of covering, but there he's given the ball away. Tries to win it back, Sunil Chetri. Option on the right-hand side from Nikhil Pujari. Header from Noah. Hendrik. Into play in Akia. Suresh. Kashmishran. Antuala trying to get something back for India in the time remaining. Young Pools is there and Sihan will drop on the ball. What a first half. Two more minutes to add on. If they go in at 3 1, I think they'll look on it as a, a fair reward for A, the selection, but B, the way they've approached the game. 
because Malaysia have not given India any time on the ball. There was a maybe a five-minute spell where India had a bit of possession. That three could easily be four. The, uh, the sitter between Arif and Faisal that they didn't work out. And Corbinong is free. Galloping into space, Levert, Corbinong. Akka. Just beaten to the tackle by Rohit. Noah helps it forward, Jingen bashes clear. Sunil Chetri beaten by a muscular challenge from Dominic Tam. Position alongside Dion Cools. Looks like it's Dominic Tans at the moment, and Faisal comes forward. Arif Ayman. Arif Ayman on his left foot. Doesn't get the shot away. Still Arif. And look at the bodies in the penalty area. He's got such terrific upper body strength, he can hold off the challenges. Alan Locke is saying, why didn't you play the ball square or play the ball earlier? As Levert Corbinong drives forward. Akir Rashid. Arif walking because he's done so much work. Akir will want to dance into the penalty area. Plays it to Faisal. Under Faisal's foot. Exhilarating, exhilarating by Malaysia. A really attractive team lineup. We wondered if they could put it together. They have Dion Cool scoring early from a corner. Arif Ayman adding a second from the penalty spot, but he's been involved in everything. Faisal Halim scoring a third after great work from Arif Ayman. Mahesh Singh Narum had scored an equaliser off the palms of Sihan. But it's high fives and hand slaps for an exhilarating 45 minutes from Malaysia. They go off in control of this game and with so many positive things to talk about. And the half-time score, this Pestabol America semi-final is Malaysia 3, India 1. Pestabola Murdica semi final highlights Malaysia in black versus India. It is 3 1 to Malaysia after an exhilarating first half in which they open the scoring after seven minutes to Dion Kool's second international goal. The Ver Corbinong doing really well with the initial diving header. Then Noah Lane finds Dion Kool's and Malaysia off to a fine start, having India earlier hit the bar. India, though, equalized fairly quickly. Lalian Zuala down the right hand side. 
and it breaks to Mahesh, who drives a volley through goalkeeper Sihan. The Johor Dal Taksim goalkeeper might look on that as a, a savable shot, but Mahesh had India level. Kim Pangon have made a very attractive and aggressive uh, selection. A penalty awarded for that clear foul by Nikhil Pudri through the back of Darren Locke. And the penalty confidently put away by Arif Ayman. And Malaysia in the lead once again on the 19-minute mark. Arif would then have a really, really important part to play in the rest of the half here. He robs Sandesh Jingan and thinks he's laying it on a plate for Faisal Halim. He doesn't. That would have been 3-1, should have been 3-1. But nonetheless, more harrying from Arif. This time, Faisal is able to take it on and run through and score for his 13th international goal. Arif Ayman, influential. Faisal, deadly. Aki Rashid on the other wing, also very, very involved. And Darren Locke up front, making it explosive front four for Malaysia, who thoroughly deserve the lead they have at half-time in the semi-final. They lead by three goals to one.
Very warm welcome back to Bukit Jalil. It's the semi final of the Pestabola Merdeka. India in blue, trailing Malaysia in black by three goals to one in this semi final. Tajikistan await the winners in Tuesday's final at the same venue. India, it must be said, very much second best in that first half, where Malaysia's front four, Darren Locke, Akir Rashid, Arif Ayman, and Faisal Halim terrified the India back four of Nikhil Pudri, who gave away a penalty. Sandesh Jingan, who was robbed. Maitab Singh, who was dispossessed, that led to the third goal. Nakash Mishara, who had a torrid time keeping hold of Faisal Halim. Faisal with the third of the Malaysia goals just before half-time. Earlier on, the impressive Arif Ayman had set up Faisal, or thought it set up Faisal, but they had a miscommunication. And uh, a clear chance for Malaysia went to begging. But Malaysia fully worthy of that 3-1 win, and the SAF Cup champions, I'm sure, will have had a talking to. They were very unhappy with uh, referee Mong Kong Chai. There were constant little moans to him. Whereas Malaysia, under the stewardship of Captain Matthew Davis, just got on with things. In the second half, India will hope to improve their attitude and hope to create more scoring chances. They were neat and tidy going forward. Laranjuala down the right, Mahesh down the left. Sunil supported by Sahul Abdul Samad. But not an awful lot really for Igor Stimak to be thrilled about in that first 45 minutes. Sian Hasmi, the Jordal Taxima Malaysia goalkeeper. I think his 15th international. Malaysia it is who get us underway in the second half. In unfamiliar All Black as Dion Cools launches long. No change of personnel for either team. So Malaysia, you have a long throw option in Lebert Corbinong, but don't have an awful lot of height to aim for. Should Corbinong throw this towards the uh, six yard area? Second half underway. Corbinong instead goes short. Akia is there. But uh, better use of resources. Akia. Right then, India, their starting lineup in a 4 2 3 1 formation. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu in goal. Nikhil Pujari, Sandesh Jinga, Metap Singh, and Akash Mishara, Mishra along the back. Rohit Kumar and Suresh Singh Wanjan in the heart of midfield. Kalyan Zwala down the right. Mahesh Singh down the left. Sahal Abdul Samad and Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri through the middle. Gurpreet down the line, finds Kobin Ong only. Arif. Sandesh Jingan, who's looked a, a little bit uncomfortable with the pressure he's been put under by Arif Ayman and Darren Locke. There is Arif, the 21 year old from Johor. Scored a penalty. Heavily involved in many, many good things. Ryan Twala unable to get the ball away, and Soresh, who once missed controls. Darren Locke finds Faisal, he invites Davis to go around the outside, Davis! There's a wrestling match on the back post, Faisal Halim! Slalomed his way into the penalty area. Malaysia, a very attacking lineup. Sihan in goal, Davis and Corbin on full-backs pushing forward. Dion Cools and Dominic Tan, the two centre-backs. As we have a look at Faisal taking the shot. Hendrik and Noah Lane are the holding midfielders. Faisal, Akia and Ari Feynman offering support for Darren Locke up front. This is Rohit under immense pressure from Dion Pools. Malaysia pressed and pressed and pressed and pressed. And India haven't been able to find a way out of the press. With five substitutions allowed. This energy can be expected, I think, to continue. More pressing. Results in a free kick for Malaysia. And see Kim Pangon wants the ball back on the field of play. Wants his team to play with tempo. Ah, 
back yet. Trying the impossible nutmeg down the byline. That is impudence. You can see it uh, from Alastar up in the northeast of the country. He's uh, Sanders Jingham. Or centre back and Tom Singh. Inside the first 90 seconds, India had hit the crossbar. Thrilling run down the left hand side from Akash Mishra. Samuel Abdul Samad striking the top of the bar. Since then, Malaysia, to their credit, FIFA ranked 134 have really taken the game to FIFA ranked 102 India. Darren Locke wins a corner kick for Malaysia. Another hard working performance from Darren Locke. Time providing the height for Pujari. The marking in Cruz made to run to the near post. Oh, and it's just wide from Darren Locke. Cruz distracted. Locke got the header in. And for the second time, he's less than a foot wide. It's a nice cushioned header. Hendrik curls it in beautifully. That is not great defending from India. Just stops uh, Lalianzuala getting the touch through. Tab just dinks it over Faisal, who's not the tallest. Mishra, Tab, and there's the pressure once again on Sandesh. He coped with it better there. But he doesn't look comfortable. Now time and space there looks obviously a lot more comfortable. Plays it into Rohit Kumar, the Bengaluru midfielder. Mahesh. Now then, Lalianzuala. Lovely ball, and Sunil Chetri is on hand to score. Fast break. No celebrations from Sunil, but India very, very well and truly back in the game. It's the 93rd international goal of Sunil's fabulous career. Mahesh, lovely ball. Corbinong just caught the wrong side, and that's a lovely, clever pass from Lalianzuala. And it is a genuine tap in for Sunil. India capitalizing on Malaysia's willingness to push the full backs forward. Both wingers involved. Mahesh to Lalianzuala. And Sunil Chetri, 3-2. Sandes Jigan. Well played, India. They've stuck to things. Pujari. Locked off illegally by Akira Rashid. Different game now. Boudry allowed to go forward. A little bit of space there between the uncles and 
Dominic Tan. Pujari. Sliding challenge from Corbin Ong. Arif, first involvement, it's off the back of his heel. So that will be a, a throw-in, good work from Suresh Singh. Aligo Stimak has had the response, uh, I'm sure he desired. Don't concede many goals, India, so to have three put past them and could arguably, should arguably have been more. Lovely ball. Oh, the flag is up, though, for offside against Valenzuela. Did look offside. Coming forward the other way, Faisal Halim, chance to shoot Faisal. And then it's in front of Darren Locke and Akia is frustrated. Going forward, exhilarating. The three could be six. Akia was saying, just slide it over to me, I'm in acres of space. Little flick. Sunil Chetri. Such a clever player, you can understand why he is such a, an important part of everything India do going into the Asia Cup. They face Australia, Uzbekistan, and Syria in a really tough group in Qatar. Venezuela. Sahel. Strong Sahel. And it's still there, and Lalianzuola, it's in! The equaliser for India. The assistant referee must surely have seen that that crossed the line. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is no goal, mouth technology, goal line technology. In the build up to this goal, Sahel Abdul Samad did brilliantly. He won the ball. Oh, wow, I don't think this is being given. I don't think this is being given. They're already irate with one or two decisions that they think went against them in the first half. And this one is a big one. Oh, dear me. There is no goal mouth technology, goal line technology. And you fully understand Singapore's and um, Malaysia saying this didn't go over. Here is the replay. Firstly, Sahil does really well. Behind, behind. Yeah, that's over the line. That is over the line. It's off the goalkeeper, off the post, off the keeper again. Dion Cools clears off the, off the line. Dion knows, Cools knows. And that has not been given. Oh. Goal line technology not available. India, every right to be unhappy there, every right to be unhappy.
in defence of the assistant referee. Oh. <laughs> Full stop. So India have responded, but haven't got the reward. Still 3-2. Arif. Akio, sorry, on the right-hand side. He and Faisal have changed sides. Right then, Arif Ayman back to goal. Tries to play in Akio. That will be a throw-in to Malaysia. Kolokow received a, a yellow card for his reasonable complaints. Uh, so much to talk about, and the changes for India. Russian Signaram is one of them. I think it'll be coming, though, after this free kick. Ball in, clawed away. Akiar picks up the second ball. Arif Ayman just floats it up for Dion Cools, who's done well. Faisal, Faisal Halim pulls it back. Corbinong, brilliantly made by Faisal Halim. The roof comes off Patek Jalil. India will feel even more aggrieved. Lever Corbinong on the end of some brilliant, brilliant work by Faisal Halim. And for Lever Corbinong, it's a fourth international goal. And with his right foot, but Kools does so well. And then Faisal, he has terrified Akash Mishra. Run at him, lovely ball back, 12 yards out. Lever Corbinong, that's brilliant play from Faisal. That's what makes that front four so exciting. Malaysia four, India two. But India's sense of grievance will just get bigger and bigger as a result of that goal. The changes which were going to be made are made now. Roshan Narom is on for Akash. And Sunil Chetri, his 93rd international goal, brought India back into the game, replaced by Liston Kolokow. Out into the back of Dion Cools, who was just blocking his way. The opposition are already wound up. Why not wind them up a little bit more?
Davis. He's been outstanding. As has Faisal. Faisal wants the throw in, doesn't get it from Roshan. This is Sandes Jingan. A testing night for India. Listen, Kolakau has done well. Flag stays down. Beautifully done. Sahil. Kolakau. Block from Dominic Tam. Darren Lock beaten to the ball by a muscular Rohit Kumar. Now the first half was exhilarating, Malaysia led 3-1, the second half equally so. As Malaysia themselves prepare to make a couple of changes. Sergio Aguero and Stuart Wilkin. We should see if that replaces the engine room or some of the flying front four. Referee's attention brought to the changes. And Akia Rashid. Twinkle toes on left wing. Very, very much part of the terrible trio who have tormented India today. Terrible, terrific. Just looking for the collective word. word. Looking on for. Darren Lock. So a slight, slight step backwards. Stuart Wilkin winning his eighth cap. Sergio Aguero winning his sixth. Davis. We take a, a bit of a breath, perhaps, from this breathless game. Maybe we don't. Driving forward. And there's Nicol Pujari. The back over on muscles him out of it. Over on gone hand. Took it like a centre forward. Beautiful finish. A few yards. Big time. Goes down by Coloco. Has to be careful. See him confident enough. Not like that. Mahesh though. Looks for Lalanciella off the underside of the bar. Lali Anzuala cannot believe it. He's hit the woodwork twice. Smashes that one. That time, there is no doubt the ball did stay out. But the pace of Mahesh on the left and Lali Anzuala on the right really is causing Malaysia problems. 
They're able to get in behind the space of Corbin Ong and uh, Davis. And being so thrilling going forward. Perhaps a little bit of the balance has been lost as Davis looks for Malaysia to try to make it five. And the ball back, but illegally. side now no hits firm challenge and Victor Santos is on the receiving end of that firm challenge from Rohit Hendrick has been very, very hard work in the heart of midfield. The rather likes of uh, Lindingham on the bench. Should it be required? Thumbs up from Hendrick. He wants to stay on. Of course he does. He's having a fun time out there. has been very important to the game plan for Kim Pangong. 28 years of age, which um, Jabal. Russian did well initially. Lost it to Sergio Aguero, who was looking for Hendrik. No lane. Wait on penalties to win the SAF Cup earlier this year. They didn't show the kind of goal scoring threat that they're showing here. Coloco still in. Oh, straight into the body of Dion Cools. Otherwise, I think Mahesh was on for his second goal of the night. Volley, very similar position to where he scored his first. And they are thrilling going forward. Coloco has done well. Here is Mahesh again. Lovely ball from Mahesh. Brilliant save, Sihan. Sahal Abdul Samad cannot believe that that has not gone in. Corbinong lost it. And it's a gorgeous ball. It would have been on given, it is on side. And that's excellent goalkeeping from Sihan Azmi. It just illustrates the threat that India have got going forward. That's really unfortunate, pitch giving way. The pitch hasn't had a time to bed in. Well, his memories of Bukka Jalil will be this post here in your screen, the crossbar. Not far 
corner spot. Or rather, more memories for him to build. 17 minutes plus for India to claw their way back. And you wouldn't say another goal is beyond them if they can make it 4 3 and somehow hold out at the other end. Valenzuela, Coloco. Real dynamism from Coloco. Coloco. Work from Arif. Pools takes a risk. Well, it's a yellow card here for Arif, and to be honest, that has been coming. He's been involved in. One or two unnecessary challenges. It's a reaction on Russia Narum after being fouled, so he's got the foul. He's also picked up the first yellow card of the game. But we do like him in this number 10 position. There's so many good players in that number 10 position, although he's been playing as a, a fairly central forward. Junior Elt still comes on for Noah Lane. Now, this is interesting because when Junior comes on, Malaysia normally revert to a back three. And he made his name as a, a midfielder. Trying to explain what his role is. June is 19th, uh, 20th cap as Faisal Halim switches sides. The effort is tame from Sergio Aguero. He's gone into that central position. Delaco, blocked off by Cools. He's been really busy since he came on list on Colacao, the Mohan Bagan winger. That side of the pitch is cutting up. Mahesh wants to get on with things quickly. Mahesh again. He's been busy. Cross is good one. It's dealt with by Stuart Wilkin. Sandesh. Nikhil. doing their bit at one end. Really has been an exhilarating game, We're in a really good atmosphere. Tajikistan await Malaysia or India for a place in the final. Roshan. Not quite as much pressing from Malaysia since the substitutions. Valenzuela reflected that will be a corner and Dion Cools is saying to his midfield push on we're sitting back too deep and midfield now is Hendrik and Stuart Wilkin 12 minutes pressure on Malaysia Mahesh to take the corner 
Junior Elstall's header. Suresh. On to Russia Narum. Bobby on. Only to Sahol. Disappointing effort from Sahol in the end. Basil Halim is down. After a high energy 78 minutes. Being told by referee Monconchai to take his injury off the pitch. Kim Pangon from an attacking point of view. I'm sure we'll have plenty to be very happy with. From a defensive point of view, not so much. And he's now utilising the final three substitutions that he's got. Azam Azmi. Defender, Safai Rashid. Score of great goals. I'm pretty sure will be one of those who makes way. Score of the third goal for Malaysia just before half time. This will surely mean a, a change in terms of um, how Malaysia set up as India make their changes as well. Sitting is Nandakuma Seka. And he's a winger, East Bengal, and just his third cap for Nandakuma. It's an attacking move as Malaysia go defensive in the last 10 minutes. Rusty Mack has said, uh, let's try and get something out of this game. Malaysia's third choice, uh, Shami Iswam. He's on as well. It's all slowing the pace of the game down just a little bit. Matt Davis is replaced. And that's a full-back for full full-back. And I'm pretty sure change of uh, system for Kim Pangong. Five substitutions allowed as Corbin Ong gets in there ahead of uh, Lalianzuela. And Corbin Ong, he's got two ahead of him. One of whom was Sergio Aguero. Goalkeeper Gerpreet out really, really well. Nazam caught up field. This is the, the pace. Amanda Kuma. Pulls. Diving in and Wilkin. Ooh. So nearly, so nearly put that into the feet of uh, Lalian Suala, who deserves a goal today, it must be said. Udanta Singh Kumam is the other substitute. Mahesh. Nandakuma inside of him. Little give and go. Mahesh's cross breaks out to Kalako. Suresh. Udanta. Venezuela. Mahesh waits. And comes from Mahesh. Comfortably through to Siham. Who save now. 
from Sahal Abdul Samad looks uh, really, really, really important. India have scored the two goals. They've had what looked to be a perfectly good goal disallowed. They've hit the crossbar and they've forced a, a wonderful save from Siham. Mahesh loses out to Kools. No free kick. Sergio Aguero. Guilty party. As Danta Singh. He's in for Lalon Zeller and uh, he's just clicked the heels of Levert Corbinon. Corbinon will take 10 seconds. It's more of that very expensive turf. It's ripped from its moorings. Need time to bed in turf. This match, and uh, I can only hope there's not a torrential downpour of rain. India still chasing, Shami's first involvement, conceding a free kick. Shami is on fourth cap, the Pahang winger. Sandesh. Wilkin not at his most glorious best there. Just look at that, Malaysia. It's a 5 4 1 formation. It's hold on up to what we've got. Safawi can break down one side. Sergio Aguero doing plenty of uh, the donkey work up front. Wilkin and Hendrick in the heart of midfield. Azam, great athlete, fine schools. It's taken. Well, he's hobbling a bit, Hendrik, and Malaysia have used all five substitutions. Udanta. Lovely reverse ball. Zahul. Lonzela looks for Zahul. No space. Good power from Lalonzela. Suresh, rising high, but Malaysia being forced further and further and further into their own penalty area as India give this a real go to try to rescue something from this semi-final. Interesting there that when Junior Elster was pushing on, Dion Cools was the edge of his six-yard box. So if they do revert to that back three, they need to work on it. Suresh. And Akuma. Space behind the Malaysia rear guard. Really is a, a complete change from the high press that they employed. Udanta. Ooh. That could have been a hand there. Something else for India to complain about later. But they'll carry on now. As that's pulled back, looking for Valenzuela. Hendrik Dos Santos is running on fumes at the moment. Sergio Aguero, <laughs> here is Hendrik, those fumes, now we can see the goal. You might fancy just taking this into the corner, tries to get something from it. Retains possession. Shami, Kobinong. Dominic Tam, not the best ball. Nanda Kuma drives. Goloko straight at Sihan.
Pools. Says to Shami, you go have a go. Shami, though, is not a, an Arif Ayman. Not many are, must be said. I'm sure Igor Stimak will have a word or two to say. The end of this contest. India from the early stage was a feeling hard done by. They complained about the penalty they conceded. Clearly was a penalty. They can certainly complain about their third goal that they scored that wasn't awarded. Danta. Suresh. It's just two walls of black shirts. Sergio Aguero's versatility as he fits into that central midfield role now as Hendrik is a, a bit of a passenger. Junior Elstel knocks the ball forward. Yeah, Hendrik is the furthest man forward now. Five minutes for India. Suresh, Udanta, Koloko. Ooh. Kovinong drops on him. Not much of an appeal there. Udanta. Too many Malaysia shirts. When he looked up, that was the fatal mistake of Udanta then. He looked up, he laid the cross. Suresh again, onto Mahesh. Clever from Mahesh. Doesn't break. Sahal Abdul Samad creates a little bit of space. Getting in good positions. When the crosses come in, it's a Malaysia shirt that gets there. Or the goalkeeper, as is the case there. Going to have a, a yellow card for some action on the pitch this time. It is the hard working Elian Zwala Changta. And deservedly so. It's pretty naughty. Frustration, you can feel it. Clever from Hendrik, Safawi. <laughs> that would have been a another oh, fabulous way to finish things. And then Junior can go back to his goalkeeper. And Malaysia have shown that they can be thrilling, and in these last ten minutes that they can lock the door. Kobinong, that fourth goal from him was so important, and it could well be more coming our way. 
Safawi Rashid. Safawi just tries to drive it forward, but rather isolated. Udanta. Dominic Tam is covering. Oloko. Rosham dispossessed. And Azamazmi can drive forward. And Malaysia have got players over if they play this right. Azam is waiting for the run. It's comes from Shami. And he's just heading into the corner. Malaysia feel they've done enough with uh, 20 seconds on the clock. This thrilling game of international football sadly will come to an end. Valenzuela. India could be firm in the Asian Cup. Australia, Uzbekistan and Syria await them in January and February. Malaysia have proven that they can take on teams higher ranked than them and not only take them on but beat them in thrilling, thrilling, controversial style. A good crowd at Bukit Jalil on hand to see Malaysia hold on to a 4-2 win, leading 3-1 at the interval. A Sunil Chetri goal made life very interesting. Then came that decision that went for Malaysia. A Lallianzuala goal that was disallowed. Neither referee nor assistant referee seeing that the ball had crossed the line. And Malaysia went on to make them pay Lebert Corbinong's fourth international goal, swept home after some thrilling wing play from Faiz Halim. Kim Pangon will be thrilled to bits that his team take on Tajikistan as well. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu. He looks very unimpressed. Maybe decisions, maybe is defending India. Come off second best. They hit the bar, they force problems, but Dion Cool's early goal helped put Malaysia on the way. And Arif Ayman penalty. A Faisal Halim goal just before half time. And then Lebert Corbinong with what turned out to be the all-important insurance fourth goal. Thereafter, Malaysia were able to hold on. And uh, were very defence-minded in the way they held on for the last ten minutes. But hold on they did. It's finished here at Bukit Jalil. A thrilling, fabulous, entertaining encounter. A semi-final where India will go home thinking they deserve much better than this scoreline. It's finished. Malaysia 4, India 2.